Hi there, my name is Martin and this is a quick start guide on Game Theory Explorer version 2. Let's see what the new UI has to offer by creating a simple game tree. I'm holding down the left mouse button and dragging over some nodes to select them. Next I press N to add children to these nodes. Let's do this for one more level. Uh, holding down, selecting them and pressing N. You can undo an action by pressing Ctrl Z on the keyboard or Ctrl Shift Z to redo an action. Uh, we would like to delete some nodes for this specific example, so let me select two nodes here. I want to hold shift to select nodes which are further away from the initially selected ones, and then pressing Del or the D key on the keyboard will remove them. Let's assign players uh, to our nodes. So the root, we would like to be a chance node, so this is done by pressing 0 on the keyboard. Next, we would like to select the next level, which is going to be player 1, pressing 1 on the keyboard. And finally, let's assign player 2. Again, I selected those by holding shift on the keyboard, so player 2 here. Let's create an information set. I am selecting the final two nodes and I'm pressing I on the keyboard to create the information set. I can assign random payoffs by clicking on the question mark button on the left. You can dissolve or destroy an information set by selecting one or more of the nodes of the information set and pressing the S key on the keyboard or simply clicking the icon on the left. Let's rename some of the players. So we would like uh, this to be player one like this and we would like this to be player two like this. And also we see that some of the moves uh, are the same from the information set. So we would like to rename those as well. Clicking on the move, uh, pressing C for the first move and D for the next move. Uh, we can check the strategic form here uh, on the top right. This is it. If we press the solve button, this will call the LRS algorithm, uh, which is going to have its output in a separate window, which you can check here. We can also apply the backwards induction algorithm by pressing uh, the SPNE uh, key up here. Uh, this is going to give us a solution to the game. Uh, we Feel free to check the buttons on the left. Uh, here, most of these actions have their corresponding keyboard key, which you can also check from the uh, information icon here at the bottom right. There is a short video for every action here, um, and you can check uh, what you can do with the software from the shortcuts menu. You can also save and export to various formats. The default one that Game Theory Explorer version 2 uses is called GTE. Um, you can also export as an image, as a fig file, as an SVG vector gra graphics, as an EF. Uh, you can also save the strategic form by opening it and there, there will be two options here to save it as STF or as tech. This is it. If you have any questions, comments or uh, you find any bugs, please feel free to con contact us. Uh, this is it. Have a lovely day and enjoy the software.